see he's like putting oat milk in my drink and I asked for coconut and should I say something yeah, or should. do you think it's like no worries no worries Farmer's Market Sunday. We're in Brentwood today. I usually go to the Melrose Farmer's Market. Damn. And I haven't been to a Farmer's Market since I was in New York. Yeah, but she thought we were regulars. Yeah, she... No, no, no. You know what she, she said? She that? said, you guys want to hear she a lesson? She looked up and was terrified of us. So she was like, let me make a friend. No, I don't like, think that's what it is. Hey, good to see I don't think that's what it is. I, Not you always saying that you see the positive in people. What happened? <laughs> She's like, you guys weren't here last week and I swore. What's your name? Valentina, Valentina. Get it to him. Uh, snap, snap. me an iced vanilla dirty chai with coconut milk. Because it's a Sunday and we're going crazy. How do you feel about the LA lifestyle compared to the New York lifestyle? Honestly, it's really peaceful, but like sometimes I'm like, there's nothing to do. I dragged Allegra today with me to come to the farmer's market. I was like, I need you to film, but I also like want to spend sister time. On duty, but not. So excited for this drink. Allegra bought a chai the other day and I was like, wait, that kind of sounds good. Are you going to go get your things? Well, when it's ready. I don't think it's ready. Hold on, it's, it's a little hot. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday. I just dropped my sister off. I'm in Silver Lake and I just realized like I really need a coffee much. I need something. I need something to work with here. Okay, it's early. It's not that early. I'm dramatic. It's 9.54. But I feel like I just need a coffee because what else am I supposed to do for this next hour and a half? I don't know. Could I have brought my computer and gone and done some work? Yes. Did I? No. And that's okay because there's a place called Cafe Nido around the block and the address looks so familiar. And if I'm thinking it is where it is, I don't know if I can go back there during the day. I think it's like a really cute coffee book situation. So we're going to go there. You're going to fall if I keep you there, but let's see how long you can stay there. But I'm scared you're going to crash. I woke up on the right side of the bed, physically and mentally. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I was on the computer doing God knows what what yesterday i am taking on a new venture that um has to do with a lot of tech which honestly was a lot of fun if you know the tech world it's not as hard as it looks i was like creating an ai robot last night listen i'm a girl with multiple talents i was creating like a script for the robot to like speak when you like chat bubble it and it's a lot harder than it looks but i enjoy it i mean i don't know if i enjoy it because like my eyes were gonna fall off of its face oh my god it's on the right side they use the back entrance for the daytime you're not going in through the front door like at night there's obviously like another company that has to create the software for the robot to function but i basically started creating like a like a script so like when you ask the ai a question it would lead you to hear if it's a yes or a no or whatever i did fall asleep with the computer like eight times doing it but that is okay because i believe the first draft turned out well but that was my my night last night I don't know how we even got there, but we're at Cafe Nido. If there's one thing that LA needs to fix, let it be the meter parking. I swore last year I paid like a dollar for two hours. Now, I think I'm paying like $5. My coffee used to cost that, and I pay that for parking. And now my coffee costs $10 easy. By the time I add the double shot of matcha, I want a splash of this. Oh, but can you change it to this? We're at $10.50, and that's before tip. There's something about tipping culture in LA that they stare at you. So like, I don't know what to do. In New York, I was a little bit better at it. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm from New York. No tip. Not saying that to be mean. Like, I, I'm a good tipper, okay? Like, I've always been a good tipper. Like, my 20%, 22% if they do really, really good. Tipping $3 at a coffee shop when all they clicked was matcha latte add honey. I'm not hating. Does that sound rude? I don't know. But I just feel like it became a little bit much. So I come out of there spending what I should be paying for a meal, which kind of hurts. It's hard for me to click the no tip. I I don't know why where's the sign it says cocktails i've gone through that door is that bad to say publicly i'd be lying if i said i didn't listen we're carefree this year what type of milk do you have full oat almond pistachio oh can i do an iced matcha latte with pistachio milk please and then what sweetener do you have we have so i'd recommend honey or agave i'll do honey, honey? yeah Perfect. thank you so much I got an iced matcha latte with pistachio milk and it is delish. It's very peaceful here. I 
I've been sitting here reading this book, Anthony Bourdain, Bone in the Throat. I'm like three pages in, but it's so peaceful here. Literally the best pistachio milk matcha latte I've tried because it actually tastes like matcha. I feel like a lot of places it just tastes like the pistachio milk. I also added cinnamon on top and I feel like that made a big difference. This thing I'll show you right now is a truck with books. I downed this in like two seconds. I just realized I could have sat here the entire time. I also just realized they have parking, so I did not have to pay for my meter. Full parking lot. I honestly just had the best time. I sat there, everyone's kind of in their own world. No one really cares that people around them exist. The Anthony Bourdain book, I couldn't get into it. I flipped to the back, it says it's a fiction mystery. So I guess it does like escalate into like being in the kitchen, working as chefs. Turns out like they become like crime partners and like like the FBI and like I don't know maybe if I sat there and forced myself to get through like the first half of the book I would have enjoyed it but the parts I read I just like could not get through not every book is for everyone but that's okay because now I have to go pick up my sister today you got to see me at a coffee shop they have really good matcha if you come to Cafe Nido during the day they have really good matcha if you come at night to Tenants of the Trees you're vibing a different type of drink not necessarily though not necessarily you could get club soda but like the vibes are so different like everyone's so at peace and I know half of these people were like blacked out last night the concept is kind of genius because it's like morning to night they really get a good use out of their space i wonder if the person who owns cafe nido also owns tenants of the trees or how it works like sharing the space the things i think about what is wrong like i no i was gonna say i'm hanging up the phone i'm hanging up the vlog i'm literally thinking what the percentages are looking like i'm gonna go i'm gonna go <laughs> I do not know what just happened. That class, we have to talk about it. Also, they give you buckwheat tea when you're done. It tastes like candy. Also, the sun is setting. Whoa, I think I'm gonna cry. I was attempting to eat outside in the Air One area. I think I've been to this location like once. There was a lot of music playing and I was like, how am I supposed to talk to you if there's like music blasting? I got a little spring roll. These are literally my favorite when I don't know what to eat. It always hits. Wow, that just fell. I thought I would give you a recap on what I just experienced. I think I like left my body in that class. I experienced every possible emotion. People were like crying. The whole point of this is to work with your sympathetic nervous system. There's music going the whole time and you breathe twice in either through your mouth or through your nose and you're always exhaling through your mouth. But like the speed picks up and I would like have moments where like I needed to stop and no one was stopping and I was like is this real i'm even like a little bit lightheaded from the class which i also think is normal you also scream in the class i had never experienced anything like this in my life i didn't know a class like this existed there there was a lot hold on let me take a bite out of this i'm starving this is exactly what i needed i don't even know what i feel right now i don't necessarily feel relieved i feel like i'm like in stress mode that is why she said if you still feel like stressed and tense take the buckwheat tea outside the door and then i was like are they drugging us you know like there was a lot going through my head but i feel fine mm. i just had the best dinner it also came with a side of ginger which they don't do at the other locations so they better hop on it i don't know what the vlog is maybe i'll end it here maybe and if that is i love you so much i'll see you next week and i hope you enjoyed the video i love you bye